Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing reading for Sign of Sagittarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Sagittarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find a bunch of other things in the description there. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. My holographic stickers, as well as the mini holographic version of my oracle cards. My pins, which are acrylic pins. So you have Serapis Bay pin. White Raven pin, the Green Man pin. All that's in the description down below. I'm at Etsy shop. Um, you can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here. So Sagittarius, let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself here. We have the green man in gratitude. So funny enough, we do have the green man here with you. All right, green man, the wise. Okay. Now there's, he's gonna be bringing in a lot of things. So there's a need for gratitude here. Okay, Sagittarius. Number eighteen, the temple of air. Twenty-four with rebirth. Five with Rhiannon. Number 38 with Surrender, 36 with the Dark Cave, number 7 with Kerr, number 33 which is an important number, the Inner Child, number 28, the Mirror, see there's a lot of going with inside yourself here Sagittarius, the Mirror, Inner Child, kind of like letting go here for a moment to be reborn, rebirth, Sagittarius, and you have this Goddess here with you, you can look that up, which I said earlier. Going through a temple, okay. We're 21 with the Temple of Earth, okay. Earth and air, Sagittarius, working with those elements here. What we have, we have about four white candles with the white flower. We have Harvest with Kalich, or Kalich, okay? Get ready for Harvest here, Sagittarius. Number 31 with Gratitude once again. Number 11 with the Lover. 22, which is an important number, the Traveler. Number 15 with Pwill, the Lover. Number 12 with the Mother. 25 with Fire Dream. Number 19, Temple of Fire, and this is where you belong to, Sagittarius, fire. Okay, so, you have a lover coming in, alright, Sagittarius, maybe someone that you're having dreams of, but either way, it can be someone traveling to you, alright, where you're traveling to each other through dreams, or something about dreams there where it's important, but either way, it feels like they're coming in here, Sagittarius, and there's need for gratefulness, <laughs> uh, with gratitude being there. Mother, I don't know if that's something about your mother or being a mother in the future, or whatever, but either way, you're heavily connecting with your element at the moment. It feels like you've kind of mastered that, okay? These birds, blackbirds. We have the other worlds with the vision. You're having these visions, Sagittarius, through your dreams here of other worlds, okay? These are spiritual worlds. You're, you're going on into the spirit realm through your visions, through your dreams. Number eight with Banba. Number six with Domnu. Number 23 with Centering. Number 40 with the Seedling. Number one with Saraduin. Number 17, the Green Man, the Wise. Number 13 with the Crone. Number three with Brigand, okay? Look at that. You're connecting with a lot of different things here, but this is something you've already planted in the universe. Sagittarius, you're going to notice it hatching, all right? It being birthed here. This lover, all this sort of stuff here. Sagittarius, okay? You're going to notice a lot of abundance coming into you. Like, once again, the green man is helping with you this. And we have a bunch of other characters, I guess you could call them, helping with this, okay?
We have the allies with the Owl Tower. Yeah, these are your allies here. With what feels like bringing down a tower here. Number 16, Karanos, the Creative. Number 20, the Temple of Water. Number 2, with Kalich. Number 32, Initiation. Number 10, the Maiden. Number 43, it's Shapeshifter. Number 42, with the Moon Maiden. Number 27, the Blessing. This is a blessing coming in here. Now, what I, I feel like your lover here belongs to this Temple of Water, so Water Sign can also be that of Creative here. Okay, Creative Person. Either way, the main thing here is it feels like a man. Okay. Get the Moon Maiden bringing this in. Feels like they're being initiated here at the moment. Okay. They're changing. That is that tower that's being brought down, Sagittarius. So them being initiated, them being brought back to you. That is a big tower. That is a big obstacle that was in the way. Right? All obstacles being removed there. There's something the Green Man's bringing in, the Moon Maiden, all these sort of people here. Bringing that in here. Okay. So, let's get some ruins and some charms for yourself. So we have the green man, once again. We have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey here. We have Horus. Thoth. Bastet. Then we have this Egyptian snake goddess, which starts with a W. I'm not really sure how to say its name, but either way. We have Obsidian, which is a protective stone. Get ready for rewards coming in, Sagittarius. You are being protected. There's going to be a lot of things opening up for you. Justice, all that sort of stuff. You're stepping into a more sort of powerful role here as well. And what feels like when love has been stuck for you, or there's been a connection here that has been stuck for you, that's going to be opening up. There's going to be communication coming forward here. Also, love, when we look at this one here, could lead to marriage or some sort of long-term partnership. Okay. So. That's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop, go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. Now, one thing we can do, Sagittarius, which I want to read to you since I keep talking about this, but you may not know exactly what this is. So we'll just read it to you real quickly. It says, the elder of the clan, master of wisdom, magician, strategist, teacher, lord of time, patient and farsighted man of vision, able to practice and transmit the rules of the healthy village in which we can live by respecting the dynamic balance and partnership. He will guide you on the path towards understanding what you still need to learn in order to grow. He will bring you the messages of your line of fathers and your spiritual brothers. He will help you to see which parts of you need renewing, developing, and reevaluating in order to achieve greater wisdom. Okay. Yeah. If you want to see more content, if you like to subscribe. Bye, guys.